let me share something with you that almost no one talks about. Your kidneys aren't the only organs that can clear deadly toxins. In fact, there are seven powerful body hacks that have helped people step off dialysis and reclaim their lives. What I'm about to show you seven ways to gently detox your kidneys might completely change the way you see kidney disease. Here's the truth, your kidneys are exhausted. They've been working non-stop, every minute, every day, without rest. No wonder they feel worn out. But here's the surprising part, your body actually has other organs that can share the load. They've been sitting quietly in the background while your kidneys do all the heavy lifting. It's time to wake them up. Recently, Swiss scientists made a discovery that blew my mind. Your skin can act like a third kidney. Not in some vague, poetic sense, literally. Their study showed your skin can filter toxins the way a dialysis machine does. Except this filter is free, painless and built into your body. And guess what? Your skin isn't even the strongest backup kidney you have. Your gut is a toxin flushing powerhouse just waiting to be switched on. When you combine these systems, something incredible happens. There are real cases of patients who've gone years yes, years without dialysis, without a transplant, without symptoms all by tapping into their body's hidden filtering systems. This isn't luck or miracle. This is science. Now imagine what this could mean for someone in stage 3 or 4 CKD. You're not only trying to avoid dialysis, you're giving your body the chance to actually heal, with three kidneys working instead of two. That's when everything changes. So, let's begin. Let's turn your body into the powerful detox machine it was always meant to be. Number 7, the Chia Seed and Lemon Detox. This little morning ritual could change everything for you. It's so simple, but so powerful you'll want to make it part of your daily routine starting tomorrow. Think of it as a gentle reset for your gut, refreshing, cleansing, and deeply healing for your digestion and kidney health. The magic starts with chia seeds. They're not just superfoods, I call them nature's toxin busters. Just one ounce gives you more fiber than most people eat in an entire day, plus plant-based omega-3s that calm inflammation even better than fish oil. Here's the part hardly anyone knows, the fiber in chia seeds can actually retrain your gut bacteria, teaching them to stop making uric toxins that damage your kidneys. That's huge. But there's a catch most people use chia all wrong. They sprinkle it dry on their salad and wonder why nothing happens. Big mistake. The secret? You need to soak them. Just 20 minutes in water transforms them. They swell, soften, and unlock their nutrients. Suddenly, your body can absorb everything. No bloating. No blockage is just smooth digestion and healing power. Now add a squeeze of fresh lemon, and you've got the perfect morning detox drink. Light, cleansing, and kind to your kidneys. Try this first thing in the morning, before anything else. Your gut will feel brand new and your kidneys will breathe a sigh of relief. Number 6. Phytochemicals. This next one might surprise you. Researchers have uncovered three little-known plant compounds phytochemicals that can calm inflammation, soothe gut issues, and help your body flush out uric toxins more effectively. Hardly anyone talks about them, but they can make a huge difference for your kidneys. Let's start with berberine. You might have heard of it as the natural metformin, but the truth is, its real magic lies in the gut. Studies show that berberine reshapes your gut microbiome, quieting the harmful bacteria and feeding the beneficial ones. This isn't just about blood sugar, it's about rebuilding your gut ecosystem so your kidneys don't have to fight alone. Next is EGCG, the powerhouse in green tea. 
it's more than an antioxidant it actively knocks out bad bacteria while supporting the good. That's why green tea is so protective against kidney disease, heart issues, even diabetes. If you already sip it daily, give yourself a high five. If not, maybe it's time to brew a cup and don't forget a squeeze of lemon to supercharge its effects. And then we have the golden champion, curcumin. Most people think turmeric is just for joint pain, but curcumin goes so much deeper. It cools inflammation in the gut, helps with IBS symptoms, and even strengthens the gut lining. Think of it as sealing up the tiny leaks that let toxins slip into your bloodstream. With fewer toxins reaching your kidneys, they finally get to breathe. This is the kind of science that brings hope. Because toxins aren't just numbers on a lab test they're what chip away at your kidneys day by day. When you address them directly, that's when real healing happens. I've seen GFR climb by 20 points. I've seen creatinine levels drop in half. Number 5. Your skin is a third kidney. Let's talk about something most people overlook your skin. You might think of it as just a covering, sitting there, doing nothing. But the truth is, your skin can actually work like a third kidney. A nephrologist in Turkey discovered this by asking his dialysis patients to do one simple thing, sweat. And the results were astonishing. Some of these patients people who had been chained to dialysis machines for years were able to stop dialysis completely. Not just reduce it. Stop it. How? Because sweat isn't just water it's a natural way your body can push out extra fluid, sodium, and even potassium. Your skin, when activated, becomes a detox organ. Now here's the key, light sweating isn't enough. A gentle walk once in a while won't cut it. To get real results, you need deep, consistent sweating. Think brisk walking or exercise in a warm space. If you don't live somewhere hot, you can do what athletes do wear layered clothing while you move, so you really break a sweat. Saunas and hot baths are also wonderful options. This isn't theory it's science, already published in respected medical journals. And yes, it's been used successfully to free patients from dialysis. But remember, sweating is only one piece of the puzzle. To truly help your kidneys, you also need to cut back on sodium since water follows salt and make sure you're avoiding constipation. When your bowels are backed up, your body becomes a prison for toxins, and your kidneys end up paying the price. So don't underestimate your skin. It's not lazy at all it's been waiting all this time to help your kidneys. All it needs is for you to wake it up. Number 4. Polypharmacy By now you might be thinking, okay, so I just add the right foods, sip my detox drinks, sweat a little, and my kidneys will heal. I wish it were that simple. But for many kidney patients, there's a big obstacle in the way something called polypharmacy. Don't worry, that's not an insult. It simply means taking five or more medications on a regular basis. And if that sounds like you, you already know the struggle. Some mornings, swallowing all those pills feels less like self-care and more like shaking a box of marbles in your stomach. Here's the problem, when you're on multiple medications, your gut takes the hit. Imagine your microbiome as a peaceful village. Then, one by one, each medication comes in like an army fighting for dominance. Pretty soon, the good bacteria are caught in the crossfire. There are four main classes of medications I call the gut destroyers, antibiotics. Life-saving when truly needed, but devastating to your gut when used too freely. They wipe out bacteria indiscriminately good and bad alike. Sadly, some doctors still prescribe them like candy, and people even stockpile them just in case. Please don't. If you have CKD, 
antibiotics should only be used when absolutely necessary, and always chosen carefully for your kidneys. NSAIDs, ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac. These are harsh on your kidneys and your gut. They can damage your intestinal lining, creating openings for harmful bacteria like H. pylori or E. coli to move in. Safer options? Acetaminophen, Tylenol, but even that must be used cautiously and only when needed. PPIs, proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole, pantoprazole, esomeprazole. They reduce stomach acid, which might sound good, but the problem is, low acid creates the perfect home for dangerous bacteria. If you struggle with acid reflux and CKD, H2 blockers or, even better, dietary changes may be safer in the long run. Laxatives especially stimulant types like Senna or Bisicoto. They're aggressive, and while they get things moving, they can also be damaging. Gentler options like osmotic laxatives, polyethylene glycol, lactulose, are kinder to your gut. And it's not just medications. Even certain supplements oral iron, calcium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate can upset your gut balance. This is why being informed matters so much. Because often, your doctor won't mention it. Your pharmacist won't warn you. But your gut bacteria? They're crying out for help. And here's the bottom line. When your gut breaks down, your kidneys aren't far behind. Protect your gut, and you give your kidneys a real fighting chance. Number 3. Fermented Foods Now, let's talk about a simple way to flood your gut with more of the good guys. One of the most powerful ways to do that is through fermented foods and drinks. Take kombucha, for example. It's packed with probiotics like Lactobacillus rhamnosus, a strain shown to support kidney health. Drink it regularly, and you may notice less inflammation and smoother digestion. But here's the catch, kombucha needs sugar to ferment. Even the homemade kind leaves behind some sugar, which can be a problem if you're watching your blood sugar. That's where raw apple cider vinegar steps in. This inexpensive liquid gold doesn't just blunt glucose spikes it's also full of living probiotics. That cloudy mother floating inside the bottle? It's a whole living ecosystem of bacteria that help protect your kidneys. One tablespoon is like drinking a tiny $3 miracle. Now let's move to food. Meat kimchi a spicy Korean classic made from fermented cabbage. Each bite contains billions of lactobacillus plantarum, a superstar strain that can lower cholesterol improve insulin sensitivity, and give your kidneys a break. The only downside? Sodium. Kimchi relies on salt to preserve those probiotics, so enjoy it in moderation. The same goes for sauerkraut, Germany's answer to kimchi. Depending on how it's made, sauerkraut can contain millions even hundreds of millions of live probiotics per gram. And unlike yogurt, which usually carries just a couple of strains, sauerkraut often delivers a whole variety. When it comes to probiotics, diversity matters. The more strains you collect, the stronger your gut army becomes. Number 2. Probiotics Now, maybe you're thinking, what if I just want the benefits of probiotics without the sugar from kombucha, the sodium from kimchi, or any side effects? That's exactly where our number two comes in, Renobiotic, the first probiotic designed with your kidneys in mind. I'll be honest with you. I created Renobiotic out of frustration. Every probiotic on the market seemed to miss the point. Some completely ignored the kidneys, while others upset the gut causing problems like IBS flare-ups or diarrhea, especially in the very people who need probiotics the most. So I decided to fix it. Renobiotic is the first probiotic that's both kidney protective and gut friendly. 
it's low FODMAP, which means it's safe even for sensitive stomachs. And it contains carefully selected strains that actually stop kidney toxins at the source right inside the gut before they can reach your kidneys. It's gentle, effective, and 100% CKD safe. Number 1. Acacia Fiber And now, we've come to number 1 the remedy that stands above them all when it comes to transforming your gut into a true third kidney. Remember that case report I mentioned earlier? The one where dialysis patients were able to stop treatment for years? There wasn't a cocktail of drugs or dozens of supplements. There was just one remedy behind it all. One simple, natural solution that helped their gut take over the job of a dialysis machine without the needles, the tubes, or the chair. That remedy is acacia fiber. Gentle, powerful, and proven, it's the single most effective way to help your gut filter toxins before they ever reach your kidneys. It's like carrying a dialysis machine inside your body quiet, natural, and always with you. So, there you have it. 7 Ways to Wake Up Your Body's Hidden Detox Systems From turning your skin into a filter, to feeding your gut the right bacteria, to finally unlocking the secret power of acacia fiber you now have the tools to protect and even rebuild your kidneys. Thank you for spending this time with me. Take care of yourself, keep your hope alive, and may God bless you on your healing journey.